الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم ما بعد over the years we have been discussing the mubarak hadith of nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam after the zuhar salah but because of conditions that are prevailing in the world there were many queries and questions with regards to the signs of qiyama so we decided that we'll discuss some of the aspects of the signs of qiyama inshallah so we have a better idea of what the quran says what the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the program is program inshallah for 10 minutes maybe a minute or two over but inshallah not more than that so we will begin with one ayat of the quran sharif a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim fa hal yanzuruna illa as-sa'ata an ta'tiyahum baghta faqad jaa'a ashratuha fa anna lahum idha jaa'athum dhikrahum sadaqallahu al-azim this ayah conveys many different aspects with regards to the day of qiyama number 1 allah tbaraka wa taala referring to the disbelievers they have not brought iman we have nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam in their midst quran is being revealed but they deny all of this so allah subhanahu wa taala is saying fa hal yanzuruna illa as-sa'a an ta'tiyahum baghta they did that they do not await that the day of qiyama should come unexpectedly in other words allah is saying that what they are wanting is the whole qiyama to come to them very unexpectedly and this word baghta is a very important aspect with regards to us also sometimes we speak about a person there was a sudden death the man passed away suddenly but if there was a preparation and no matter how sudden it may have been it's not sudden because the person had prepared and this is the message that allah tbaraka wa taala is conveying here that on the one hand they have not brought iman on the other hand there is no preparation obviously so whenever qiyama comes it's going to come upon them very very suddenly day after allah taala says faqad jaa ashratuha that certainly some of its signs have already come remember quran is being revealed in the time of nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah tbaraka wa taala is speaking about some of the signs of qiyama that has already come inshallah this part we will discuss in the next session but one very very important aspect that we should remember is already the coming of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam his era there were things that happened that signal already the coming of qiyama fa anna lahum idha jaa'athum dhikrahum when those signs have come then how will they be reminded when qiyama does come the remembrance of qiyama happens we speak about it is it going to be a means of a reminder for us and this brings us to our point and that is for us all of these are reminders that we now remind ourselves iqtarab lin nas hisabuhum wa hum fi ghaflati mu'ridun the ulama have written that one is the coming of qiyama and one is the coming of our own mouth when we leave this world it is as though qiyama has already begun for us now because our amal all come to an end so one or two aspects with regards to the hadith of nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam with regards to the coming or the signs of the day of qiyama nabi akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam once woke up in the middle of the night from his sleep rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's face had turned reddish and then he said that no one has the right to be worshiped but allah tbaraka wa taala it is only allah taala 
that has the haq, has the right, that Allah be worshipped. And then he began to say that evil is near. In one narration, destruction be to the Arabs, evil is near. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spoke about the sadd, the barrier that has barricaded Yajuj Majuj. We read all the time in Surah Kahf how Zulkarnain had created this barrier around them. And Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the opening has opened so much. He made the indication with his Mubarak thumb and his index finger. So already from there we can see that they are the signals of the day of Qiyamah that in his time already Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spoke about it. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warned the Sahaba. Then somebody asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that would we be destroyed when there are good amongst us, good people amongst us that are carrying out good deeds. So good people, good deeds. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said yes because khabath increases. Khabath means evil, filth actually, evil. When evil increases, then we are going to be destroyed. Now, there is one other hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was once in Medina Tayyibah. Sayyidina Usama ibn Zayd radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got onto one of the buildings of Medina. Now those were not lofty buildings. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got onto it and then to make an illustration Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made as though he's looking into the very far distance. Distance insofar as space is concerned. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Sahaba, Oh my beloved Sahaba, do you see what I see? Obviously, Sahaba could not see what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is seeing, and hence they said, No, ya Rasulullah. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and this is very frightening, that indeed I see trials falling in your homes like rain. Now, we will have to understand rain, that when there are leaks in the roof, or there is no roof, and the water comes in, that is how the fitnas, and that is how the trials are going to come into our homes. Now, it's not going to come into our homes and leave us, but everybody is going to be affected. Some of the ulama have written that perhaps he used this expression, that we will save ourselves from the drops of rain by having a fortified roof and make sure there's no leaks. So like that, we will try to fortify ourselves from the fitan and the fitnas and the trials. Remember, fitna in Urdu, Gujarati got a different meaning and in Arabic it means trials. That these trials and tests are going to come upon us and we need to fortify ourselves and the one very important, and this is the last hadith we'll discuss, is that somebody complained to Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu about the difficulties they were experiencing in the time of Hajjaj bin Yusuf. Hajjaj bin Yusuf was an oppressive personality. He was an oppressive leader. And uh, there were difficulties that the people were going through. So Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu advise the person be patient no error will come upon the people except that the one that follows it will be worse in the short lives that we've lived we thought 9-11 was like the pits of it now and there's nothing more that can happen but now what we see in Palestine now we will think that this is the ultimate zulam there is no ultimate in zulam. According to this hadith, it's only going to get worse. And the more important aspect is the conditions are going to be there. The thing is we need to fortify ourselves. We need to gear ourselves up. And we need to turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek from Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. So may Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala give us all the tawfiq and the ability 
to understand that these are not easy trials that are going to come upon this ummah. There are going to be difficulties. It is like the hadith says, holding on to our deen is like holding on to a live coal. But we will have to. And we will have to hold it for the sake of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. May Allah ta'ala grant us all the strength of our iman. May Allah ta'ala grant us the strength of our amal. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala strengthen our yaqeen. And may Allah ta'ala protect us and our progenies till the day of Qiyamah, inshallah. Besides, on a Friday, this program will continue after Zuhar Salat. So all brothers that are free and available are requested to participate. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik.